Okay, so here's the deal. I put out, I didn't put them out, but I've recorded like three videos since my last video. And I up and decided not to put them out because I went back and I, I, I had no time to put them actually out. So I just decided, you know, I can sum this all up into one video. So I'm doing that now. So, I had these test strips. Now, these ammonia test strips, I actually uh, was curious. And I said, well, I'll try them. So I tried them. They told me that there was some, like, it, they worked at first. And I think that's what happened when I accidentally contaminated the jar because now they don't work at all I could literally dip them in my toilet after I urinate and they would probably come out the same uh, so I did a complete reset on this tank. Uh, by complete reset, I mean that I took all the stocking out, uh, put everything in here except for the uh, what's it called? rope fish. Yes, it's the rope fish. I put the rope fish in this 80 gallon. I am doing a water change on the 80 gallon, that's why it's low on water at the moment. Uh, nothing too bad. It's been two weeks since I've done the complete water change where I have drained all of the water, filled half of it up with water from the 80 gallon because I was doing a water change at the same time. I uh, figured. I'll save some water because beneficial bacteria. I don't want to change 100% of it. Clean the filter like the day after. Well, no. same day. Replace some media the day after. Uh, so, I did that. For the first week, I had an ammonia problem in this tank, but that was okay because there's nothing in this tank. It is completely empty. So, I've been doing water changes periodically. I've been keeping going. I've been waiting for that beneficial bacteria to add up and, you know, build up in my filter. I think it's sufficiently done that now. Like I said, pretty sure these are contaminated. Just found that out. Because no matter what happens, if I get a test strip, I, I tested a couple times, so you can see by the strips in there already. A test strip, there's actually some like color difference on there. But I dip it into the water. New, different, it doesn't matter. And I just do as the instructions say to do. The reading is always the same. Always. Even if I was to test this on one of my other tanks that I know for a fact does not have an ammonia problem, it's still going to say there's stressful amounts of ammonia in it. Hell, it could be fresh water. Uh, like, I'm talking straight out of the tap and dechlorinated. Uh, I actually have some. Is this strip okay? What's going on with this one? Container, new water from my water change bucket. Just take it somewhere with. 
less noise. Pretty much the same. Yep, some of these have been soaking a long time, so I'm sure that it's getting darker. But speed turn. It says there's stressful levels of ammonia in a thing of water, freshly dechlorinated out of the tap. That bucket's been sitting there about 20 minutes with the chlorinator in it. It doesn't make sense unless it's like completely, like the entire, every strip in there. Just dump on this. Every strip in there is contaminated. Lo and behold, I was like, okay, this is weird. So, what I do, grab my trusty friend, the uh, API ammonia test kit. And I did a little chemistry. Eight drops on the first bottle, eight drops for the second, shake for five seconds, uh, shake vigorously for five seconds. And uh, yeah. So 30 bucks wasted on this. Fantastic. All right, so I did, I did the ammonia test on this tank and it's reading at zero. Literally five minutes before I tested with the strips because I was wondering like what the hell's going on with these strips course they're contaminated so now the only thing i got left to uh test is the acidity uh because the acidity was a problem because the ammonia was a problem the ammonia was a problem because there was no beneficial bacteria strips uh, for this multi-test thing. I'm going to test it now. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I'm not going to be super happy about it because it's going to be a three-week thing. I'm only testing for acidity right now because I've just proven that the ammonia test strips weren't working and uh, yeah. One second and take out. So I dipped for one second and took out. to still be a problem, but fixable over time with water changes. <sighs> so there's that. 
If pH is the only problem I gotta deal with, then you whoopee, yay. Now I get to toss these out because the entire thing is contaminated and I can't use it. Alright, uh, so I've basically been using all this stuff to secure the lid um, until I can get that tank back to normal. Hopefully with the ammonia problem gone, the acidity problem will be fixed pretty soon here. I did work on rescaping it just a little bit. I just basically just moved the driftwood and plants around because why not? Uh, I thought it was a decent idea. All right, so I had a bunch of guppies in here. I am down to these four adults. Now I specified adults uh, for a reason. See, there was about five other adults. I threw them in there like they were I was pretty sure they were males. So I threw them in the 80 gallon, sacrificed them to the Set Up Oh My God. Um, Set Up Oh My God enjoyed that offering. So, back to the reason I specified adults. These four adults, it's just temporary holding, so all these can stay in here. Uh, there's plenty of beneficial bacteria in the filter and whatnot in the, in the tank itself. So. It's supporting them. Let's see if I can find one. So there was four babies in here. No, six. There were six babies in here. The last time I checked. Uh, I'm hoping they didn't get eaten. They were just big enough where they could be eaten, but there's plenty of hiding spots, so hopefully that, yeah, hopefully they're just hiding. That one, I think that's one right there behind the thing there. There, there's one. Yeah. There's two, actually. Corys are just getting in the way. So there's one right there. There was another one underneath that. They seem to be just hiding the. close up yeah so uh, we have like anywhere up to six guppies because I counted uh, like a day a couple well, about a week ago I counted about a week ago there was six so we have at least three left because I've seen three today Hopefully they all survived, but maybe not. And guppies are still pregnant, so more babies to come. Uh, I'm just gonna see what I can do about this pH problem. I'm gonna continue doing water changes as often as I can. I did a water change today. I'm gonna do one tomorrow, because I just wanna even out that pH. And, uh, that's about it for the tanks. Now, for the plants that I'm growing with the aquarium water, they're doing very well. So this is the zucchini. Uh, this is claimed by the Pleco. 
because the Pico gets the zucchini with the wool. I have two plants like this. One growing here and one in the window. So, zucchini, uh, all these, you know, more bushily plants like that. That's uh, habanero peppers. Pretty sure I mentioned that before. Watermelon here. And watermelon here. Now, I'm going to keep growing this zucchini. Uh, and it's, it's fairly big, so... Hi. This morning I kind of transplanted stuff around the box because I was like, hey, you know, it might grow better if it gets more light. And how's it going to get more light if I, it'll get more light if I just move it around. So, zucchini number two, watermelon number three, tomato plant number one, and apple tree. Don't ask about the apple tree. All right. I did the whole, like, hey, grow an apple tree, or start growing an apple tree in a plastic bag type thing in the window. Um, I stuffed it in there when it started sprouting, so I was like, all right, this one's working. And I transplanted it the other day, so it's still growing. I can confirm that. <laughs> I got these getting told. Yeah, you tell them what's what. You getting sick of this shit? Pissing her off, annoying her. Maybe it's best time to him. Yeah, I'm gonna remove him. Actually, no, that one's just being aggressive toward everybody. Though it is stalking them, so. Yeah, it's, it's being a shit disturber. I'm removing it. I'm removing it. I'm going to stuff it somewhere else. because it'll be easier for me that way. Right, this one's in timeout. Just got some water from the other tank because I couldn't really get that whole bowl in there and not mess up every plant I have. All right. That's all it gets. Alright. Now, if you're wondering, no, this isn't where it's going to be living for the next couple of days. Uh, I just need somewhere to put it temporarily so I can move in here safer when I'm not making a video. So I'm going to continue with my water change. Uh, once I'm done this water change and this water change, this one's takes no effort, it's literally just siphon into a bucket and siphon back into the tank. Uh, yeah, after I change the water. But, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully I'll have this acid, uh, acidity. Hopefully I'll have this acidity problem dealt with soon. If not, then I'm thinking I'll train, because I still got a bunch of stuff in here. I was thinking it probably wouldn't hurt if I was just to drain the vast majority of the water and refill it up. 
it's not like I'm going to be cleaning the substrate again. Uh, so, just, yeah. Basically, just a restart to the uh, pH. Because the filter's got enough beneficial bacteria in it now. So, yeah. Even if I got put, like, use this tank's water. then it's something should fix the pH but who knows looks like they're much happier now males been removed they're not attacking each other they're just nipping at roots was, yeah so that's it for this video. Uh, yeah. Peace to show that I wasn't lying when I told you that I was going to put the male guppy back in this tank. Uh, there he is. It's in there, in the container, being held there by the lid and pressure every some odd uh, hours I'm going to change some water but I figure this is a good way to uh, keep him out of trouble 